Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. This is Elise here of Plan With Elise, and today we are making a custom spread for fitness. This is for one of my patrons, Bobby, and Bobby is a new patron to this tier where I do custom spreads. So it always makes me a little bit nervous because I'm, you know, I haven't gotten feedback from her because this is the first time we're doing it. So as I felt when I first launched this tier, I'm reminding myself that those who join this for a custom spread know my planning style enough that um, we're just going to kind of go with it and see what happens. So Bobby wants to use a dashboard layout for fitness. So I have two sticker books here. I have Happy Planner Fitness, Don't Give Up, and I have Live Love Posh Floral Fitness. There are some stickers in here that go really nicely together, and I thought it would be um, fun to use these. So I don't know that that page was supposed to be there. It may have been from uh, the last time that I used this sticker book, which was a little while ago. Oh, but they are the florals that match this theme. So that's perfect because I want to play around a little bit down here. Now, anytime I use a dashboard spread, that's for someone else. I always have to be really intentional about not going with my gut, which is the way that I use a dashboard in terms of a lot of functionality. So I really like this work, work, work sticker, and I want to combine it with something over here. So we've got these two. I'm just trying to decide how I want to do it. Okay, Bobby has brown hair. So we're going to bring this girl in over here. And then I feel like this work, work, work sticker just kind of has the right colors, but I think we need one more thing to sort of go along with it. So what about sweat, smile, and repeat? Instead of this, I'm actually going to cover up, I think, yeah, this phone case and put this here to sort of go along with that. Although, I don't know, I feel like the black right in the middle there kind of breaks up this section in a strange way. Hmm. What would be the best way to do this? What if we move this? This might be a video of a lot of second guessing. I don't want it to be, but we're gonna try <laughs> to do our best. Might rip a little. All right, so let's take the work, work, work and kind of slant it to have some fun and maybe even layer it with the floral if I lift part of this up a little bit. There we go. That's a little bit different, but I but I like it. And then I still don't know that we need this because now, now this is big as compared to this because we have that little yoga mat and we have this one over here. So let's maybe not use this one. Um, let's use, you know what? We're gonna use a box. Well, I don't wanna do too many boxes. I feel like I just kind of want the bottom to be decorative. Don't worry, we'll figure it out. <laughs> May take some time, but I'll get there. Let's look back at this sticker book. Ah, make healthy a habit. That's a good quote, and that's actually a really nice size for this space. Before I decide on that though, let's see if there's anything else. Okay. Or sweat, smile, repeat. I think make healthy a habit is going to be better size wise, maybe make healthy a habit. That's good. And then we can probably do something else down here. Maybe we'll do another floral for now, just to kind of fill in some of that space a little bit like that. And now we just need my whoops, scissors. The one thing I didn't take out before I sat down to film this video. 
Okay. I like that. It's a little, it's a little loud, but I think it's okay. Although I'm realizing there's like a weird gap over here since I went kind of outside the box. So we'll add that in to help with that a bit more. All right. Now back to fitness. Don't give up. We have some weekly types of trackers in here that I want to include. So I just have to find them. I know I saw them. Okay. We have this week at a glance with meal plans and exercise. I think this is a really great sticker, but what I want to do is cut it and take a look at the sizing here because with the dashboard layout, I don't know that this task section is really necessary. I mean, it definitely depends on how Bobby intends to use this, but I feel like it's kind of a space that might not work. So I'm just grabbing some sticker paper that I have, and I'm gonna put these stickers down on the sticker paper. The reason I'm putting them down on sticker paper, even though they're already stickers, is that this will be an extra layer to help cover up what's underneath. Oh, we have to take off this week at a glance. I may still use it, but I wanna take it off for the purpose of what I'm doing right now. We're just kind of making one wide box here where you won't be seeing these lines underneath it. So let's cut this out. Anytime I use sticker paper like this, I typically just leave it in a drawer underneath my desk for things like this where I just need more of it and I don't want to use an entire new sheet. It's good to have like scrap sticker paper for this. Okay, Whoop. this is where it gets tricky because it's peeling off just the first layer and you want to make sure to peel both. Look how nicely this fits, oops, <laughs> this fits really nicely over here. I'm happy, I wasn't sure if that was gonna work, but that was great. Okay, and then I wanna bring in this week at a glance. So let's cover up the tasks and let's bring in like one of these gym bag sections. right there. And then we can do this week at a glance right here. I think that that's great. Now I want to make more use of these two boxes functionally, whether Bobby wants to use them for habit tracking or workout ideas or before and after progress, things like that. So this sticker book does have habit trackers. We've got these, which would be kind of a cool color. These are probably going to be the better ones. And I think that we need to include a habit tracker in here. Um, maybe we do too, with the idea that one is following along with the meal plan and one is following along with the exercise plan. Because that's how I would personally do it. It's what makes sense in my brain. I think that's the hardest part about making spreads for other people is I know what works for my planning style, but I want to make sure that it'll work for others as well. Okay, now we have some space over here. So what I was thinking was a goal. But we can dress this goal up a little bit. It doesn't need to be a plain goal. In this way, she'll be able to write in exercise five days or three days or one day or seven and be able to use this space to kind of map that out. Because you can still see the correction tape a little bit, I want to move this over. And that also kind of ties the green in a little bit more. Now, 
let's take this cardio and confidence sticker and pair it with something. I think we're going to pair it. Maybe. Maybe we don't need to pair it. Maybe it can just go here. And this is where Bobby, because this I kind of decided was going to be a habit tracker for her. <laughs> this is now where she can put in anything else. All right. I think we've got the left side. That was pretty, it came together pretty seamlessly on this side anyway. I don't know what this side is going to be like because the right side is where my brain tends to really be a creature of habit. So I want to bring in this floral because it's pretty. And then let's also bring that in. Got a little sticker remnant here. We'll also bring that in right over there. And then I want to look for some sort of header box. So we have this with weekend plans, but I think we're going to cut off the weekend plans part. I know I say we, I know this is I because I'm doing it, but I feel like we're here together. Okay, perfect. And then we can bring in, oh, we're covering up a little bit of Monday. I didn't really see that. I think what we'll do is let's grab my knife and we're just going to cut this leaf out versus cutting it off right there. And then this will go here. But I'm still, I'm being particular now. I just want to make sure that Monday is going to be able to be functional. And if the stickers are down here, it's going to make it a little bit more challenging. And now I've got to pull these up and not rip the page. Tweezers are typically the best way to do this, but they don't seem to be working with me right now. There we go. Just kind of sliding it underneath like a, a letter opener. Oh, I can't get this. Okay, this part, I'm just gonna have to kind of move these and then trim off any excess. I'll do that after the video. I'm not gonna send it out that way, but I'm also not gonna spend most of the time of this video <laughs> trying to fix that section. That's not that bad. All right, now for the weekdays. So we definitely need some functionality here. So I wanna take these workout stickers color-wise. We have one, two, three, four. There's four that are the color the colors that match this spread. So instead of that, we're going to bring in the black ones. Um, but we have these breakfast, lunch, dinner stickers, but we also have the meal plan there. Although I know that that meal plan is probably only going to be for one meal. Hmm. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're gonna make this rather functional. I know I said I was gonna go a little bit out of my routine, but I think we did on the left side. I have an idea for the right side that I just wanna get implemented because I think it should work and if it doesn't, then I need to know. Now I'm putting seven workout stickers down here. I don't necessarily know that this is intended to be used every single day, but having the stickers down gives you, or gives Bobby the opportunity to work out every day. If she wants to take one off, she'll definitely be able to do that too. And then we're going to take breakfast, lunch, and dinner stickers. Go there. Yeah. And I'll put these down for each day. 
so that she can track. When I'm personally thinking of a meal plan, if I were using a sidebar sticker, or not a sidebar, but this type of sticker for myself, I'd probably map out dinners because breakfast, I don't really, I'm trying to be better, but if when I am good about eating breakfast, it tends to just be um, like a the same thing, like a yogurt granola parfait type of thing. I do typically have the same thing for lunch each day. I am a creature of habit. We're gonna run out of some space down here. So I'm a creature of habit, so I tend to have like cut up pepperoni and cheese and crackers um, as a quick lunch. Dinner tends to be what I map out more than the other meals. I'm gonna put, before I put that back down, I wanna get these stickers down. Because the key, if you're looking for a way to do decorative planning and also have it be functional, is get the function down first, then you'll be able to see what room is left there to decorate. But I will tell you, I'm really happy with how this is coming out. I feel like it makes perfect sense if you are looking to use a dashboard layout for fitness, I think that it could work really nicely. And of course it depends on what you're tracking. Um, you might be someone who wants to track weight. I'm not always someone who wants to track weight. For me, it really depends on, I, I'm mindful of how my clothes fit. I'm mindful of how I feel and not as tied down to the number because I've seen my body look a certain way at one number on the scale and a totally different way, but the number on the scale is exactly the same, right? We're not accounting for muscle mass, all of that kind of stuff. So depending on what you want to track, you can uh, customize this section. You can make this more functional than I did. I really made this decorative, um, but I think that this could be a really good layout, especially as you see here, you've got the meal plan and the workout. Now, I'm realizing I don't have as much space for decor and it's also a little hard to know like where to put something different if I were to do rest day or something like that because this planner isn't for me. But we're going to just kind of play around a little bit more with these florals so that we can help dress up this side and it doesn't feel entirely functional. And florals are a great way to do that. And then I'd still like to bring in something more fitness focused from this sticker book. Oh, like one of these. We can bring in another one of these. So I brought her down on the bottom. Let's bring in, oh wait, we're going to run out of room. We can do it here little bits of space <laughs> because if I do it over here at all, then we're losing the meal, the meal space. So there's really not a lot of space to do that. Okay. Um, let's go back to this section down here. So, oh, there we go. I just needed to peel off that little last bit and we were good. I want to bring in Know that I want to bring in that apple with the measurements, but I do like this water bottle. So we can even just put this here because there'd still be the ability to write down the workout. And we can take the sneakers and put them, yes, kind of right over here. Okay, I think that this video came together much quicker, or the spread came together much quicker than. I expected, but I sort of just hit the ground running and it made sense. So I hope that you like this video and you got some ideas. Let's hope Bobby loves it. Let me know if you use a certain layout for fitness and what that layout is. I'll link everything I used in the description. And I think that is a wrap. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you soon.